Hi and welcome to quickkt.com. In this tutorial video, we are going to learn about activation functions. Okay. The activation functions are also referred to as transfer functions. Okay. So before going into the explanation of activation function, we shall quickly recap the McCulloch Pitts model that we had discussed in the last section okay. so after the summation function the output VK was passed on to the threshold function which decided the out final output YK it was either a 0 or a 1 okay so what the threshold function actually did was there is a certain value called as threshold value okay so let's assume the in input is uh, ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity right and there is a certain value called as threshold value so the threshold function converted all the input values which are less than the threshold value to zero okay and all the input values which are greater than threshold value to be one okay so it's basically it's converting all the input values to either zero or one so for uh, threshold value t equal to 1 the output will be 0 for all the for all the input values which are less than the threshold value okay and for uh, for all the input values which are more than threshold value the output will be equal to 1 so the graph will look something like this So this threshold function can be called as activation function. Okay. So in simple words, I can say that the activation function is a function which limits the output values, output signals to certain finite values. okay the activation can activation functions can be either linear or non-linear linear in the cells the equations which represent a straight line or a plane okay so non-linear functions are those which represent curves right so mostly the activation functions used in the neural net neural networks are mostly non-linear okay so let's discuss some of the common types of activation functions so first one is linear function or identity function in linear or identity function the output from the output will be equal to input it's as simple as that okay so if we plot it the output will be equal to the input y is equal to x right so this is the identity function so next is the binary step function this we had already discussed it's basically it is having a threshold value so let's assume t is equal to 1 so for all the values which is less than the threshold value the output will be equal to 0 and for values which are input values which are greater than threshold the output will be equal to 1 okay so y is equal to 1 if x is greater than or equal to the threshold value 0 otherwise so the next function is sigmoid or logistic function function so this is one of the famous activation functions used in the neural bed, neural nets so the sigmoid function converts all the input values for example if the input values range from 0 to 
minus infinity to plus infinity it converts all the input values and squashes okay squashes them and converts them to range between 0 to 1 okay minus infinity to plus infinity is squash to represent the output values between 0 and 1 okay the equation is given by y is equal to 1 by 1 plus e power minus x okay this is x so let's take let's calculate the value of y for input x is equal to minus infinity so when x is equal to minus infinity y will be equal to 1 by 1 over 1 plus e power minus of minus infinity will be plus infinity so this will be equal to 1 by 1 plus infinity which is nothing but 1 by infinity which is 0 okay for infinity value minus infinity the output will be equal to 0 let's calculate for x is equal to 0 so for for x is equal to 0 y will be equal to 1 by 1 plus e power minus 0 which is nothing but 1 by 1 plus 1 which is 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 right for x is equal to 0 the output will be value will be 0 0.5 so for x equal to 1 y will be equal to 1 by 1 over 1 plus e power minus infinity which is nothing but 1 by 1 plus 0 which is 1 so the output will look something like this for sigmoid or logistic function okay so it looks something similar to yes okay it represent letter s that's why it's also called as a shaped curve So the next function is hyperbolic tangent function it is somewhat similar similar to sigmoid or logistic function okay so if sigmoid function ranges between 0 and 1 then hyperbolic tangent function ranges between minus 1 to plus 1 it's as simple as that okay the equation is given by tan hyperbolic of x is equal to uh, e power x minus e power minus x divided by e power x plus e power minus x so if you just calculate just like what we have calculated in the previous way the curve should look similar something similar like this again this this looks like an S shaped curve okay so the next activation function is called as relu or rectified linear units it is somewhat similar to identity function for x greater than 0 okay the relu functions they are considered to be fast for training of a neural network okay the equation for relu is given by y equal to maximum of 0 and x okay let's just calculate for x is equal to minus 8 y will be equal to maximum of 0 comma minus 8 which is nothing but 0 right so for x is equal to 1 y is equal to max of 0 comma 1 which is nothing but 1 right so for for input values which are less than 0 the output will be 0 
and for input values which are greater than 0 the output will be an identity function or y is equal to x. So the next function is softmax function. Softmax function is used to force the input values okay, and convert them into output values such that the sum of the output value will be equal to 1. Okay. Let me give you an example. Let's take an input value of 2 comma 4 comma 5. Okay. The equation for softmax function is given by let's assume there are k input k inputs. Then the equation yj output value equal to e power xj divided by summation k is equal to 1 to capital K e power x k this is for j equal to 1 2 and so on until k ok let's calculate for our input value the summation function is given by summation function is equal to e power 2 plus e power 4 plus e power 5 right and then the first value y1 will be equal to e power 2 divided by the summation function okay and then y2 will be equal to e power 4 divided by the summation function similarly y3 will be equal to e power 5 divided by summation function so if you just calculate those values 2, 4, 5 will be converted to 0 0.035, 0 0.265 and 0 0.7. If you just sum up these values, it will be equal to 1. right? So it has converted the input values 2, 4, 5 into something, into, into the values Whose, to whose total sum will be equal to 1. So this is the softmax function. So this would be the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.